Hello, I'm Jonathan Watson, pastor at Cape Fear Presbyterian Church. Thank you for joining me this week from our sanctuary for a very special video worship service, Hymns at Home. Our music director, Pam Myhill, will be playing several familiar hymns chosen by members of our congregation. We're gonna put the words across the bottom of the screen. We invite you to turn up the volume and sing along. Let us worship God. As the psalmist declared, O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all God. From Paul's letter to the Colossians. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. A reading from Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God.
book of 2 Chronicles. It was the duty of the trumpeters and singers to make themselves heard in unison in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments in praise to the Lord, they said, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. A reading from Psalm 57. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Thank you. 
A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 17. Be filled with the Holy Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Let us pray. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the music all around us. Each morning we hear it from the moment we open our ears, the low notes of wind around the eaves, the whoosh of water as it comes from the tap, the glug glug as it drains, the throaty whistle of the boiling kettle, the metallic tap of the spoon against the cup, the jazz percussion of our feet on the steps, the sounds of our day. So familiar, we hardly pay attention. Thank you for the ability to hear. Thank you for the sounds of life, the chatter of the squirrel, the deep purr of a cat, the sharp calls of a blue jay, the sound of someone we love laughing. Give us wisdom to enter this day with good sounds, tones and pitches and words that affirm, encourage, cherish our sounds affecting the world in a positive way we pray for all who sing a sad song today the grieving the lonely the lost thank you for your songs love songs which we are invited to sing you are the great composer we long to be composed each day in your image singing your elegant score truly, clearly, following your rhythm by heart, finding our voice in your beautiful world, hearing you in the music of life. This is our prayer. Let us close by saying the prayer which Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, our worship ends and now our work begins. May the amazing grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the extravagant love of God and the ever-present fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all this day and always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.